I have two displays right behind me here. On the outside, they are identical or they look identical as if they are the exact same display showing the exact same photo. But on the inside, internally, they are very different. They carry different features. And in this video, what I'd like to do is compare them and kind of show you the difference between the two models. I'm Art Suwensang, I'm a BenQ brand ambassador, and let's get right into this. So the very first one we're gonna start out with is the BenQ SW271. This is BenQ 4K hardware calibrated display. The one right next to it is BenQ latest release, SW270C. This is a 2K hardware calibrated display. So obviously these two display can do hardware calibration as we kind of established already. However, again, on the outside, very hard to tell them apart. They all come with the infinity screen and everything. It looks really great. You're really immersive in a photo, but the way how you can tell them apart is to look at the hockey puck. The SW271 4K model here comes with the first generation hockey puck. So it's a little bit flatter and you can see that there's a D-pad there in the middle that you can dial things up and down. However, in the BenQ latest release, the SW270C, they have upgraded the hockey puck to Gen 2. This hockey puck, it's now weighted more, so it feels heavier in a hand. And instead of the D-pad in the middle, they have actually replaced it with a dial wheel. This dial wheel also acts as a function button as well. You can click on it and it will pull the different functions up on the screen, which is really nice. And it also has an extra programmable button right there that you can use to extend the different color display mode or to set different input modes on the display. So a couple of things you can do. One of the things too that I need to mention about these two displays is that both of these models are capable of showing HDR10 or they're HDR10 compatible. That means they are a high dynamic range display. Now, if you're editing on a computer, on a Mac or on a PC right now, just natively from the system, it may not do a lot for you yet. However, if you're editing a video and you're using another external box to view HDR content on there, both of these displays are capable of doing that. A couple of other things that are different about these two panels itself and what comes in a box is the hood. So both of these panels come with the shading hood. Now I'm not showing the shading hood here in this video because I like you guys to really see the panels, but a couple of things to note about the shading hood is that they are the new BenQ design language shading hood, meaning that there's nothing protruding from the side. It's just a little hook here that you can just literally slip the shading hood into. But what's different between these two is that the SW271 4K model will come with a shading hood for both the horizontal orientation like this and will come with the two extra pieces that you can rotate the shading hood to a vertical orientation. Now, it doesn't mean that the 270C cannot be used in a vertical orientation. It can be. However, if you want to use a shading hood in a vertical orientation, you're gonna need to get those two extra extender piece as an accessory to the shading hood, but you can always get that for this model. So those are the differences between the shading hoods itself. Now the panel itself is also very different. One of them is a 4K panel. That means it's a much higher resolution than the 2K panel display. The rule of thumb, my general rule of thumb and recommendation is this. If you are a photographer, many times you don't need 4K. If you're not really sure what 4K is, if you don't have a reason or you can't justify getting the 4K display, do not buy a 4K display. And the reason why I'm saying that because 4K native resolution, it's like really high resolution. So what happens is if you're running on 4K native, your text will be really small. And eventually at the end, you'll be running in some scaling mode anyway. So the nice thing about 2K is that the resolution is already there. You don't have to worry about it too much and it's almost plug and play and ready to go. The other thing too that the 2K has advantage over in this case is that it's much easier on your video card. You don't have to worry about getting a computer with a really powerful video card that can, that can handle a 4K display or can drive a 4K display. Now here's the case though. One of the upside about using a 4K display is that many times what I'll do is I'll take this 4K display and I'll use it by scaling down the resolution so that it's equivalent, it's at least on the Macintosh side, to a 2K resolution. And I do that a lot. The nice part about that is you get text that's larger and also smoother at the very same time. Most of us are gonna be sitting a few feet from our computer screen anyway. When we actually sit a few feet from our computer screen, 
our discernibility, being able to tell the difference between 2K and 4K kind of just really goes down. We're not really just sitting there right next to the screen or in a magnifying glass, you know, peeping at the pixels. So you're not going to see that much of a difference. So if you're a photographer, 2K works perfectly. Now, if you happen to do video editing and you happen to do video in 4K, a 4K screen is good for that matter to just kind of think about because you can then do, you know, full previews in 4K. However, just something to keep in mind, you can still do 4K editing on a 2K display. Everything would just be scaled down in that case, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. While we are talking about the panel, let's also talk about uniformity. The BenQ SCW270C has BenQ latest upgraded panel. This panel is higher quality and it also introduced a new feature or a new technology in this case called Uniformity version 2.0. What that means is that BenQ has done a rigorous calibration of this panel from the factory where they have divided this panel into multiple different grids. And they have actually calibrated all those local different grids and store those values in the lookup table. What you're going to get with this panel is the uniformity across the panel with a delta E value of generally less than two. And I have done numerous checks on this. Now on the 4K version, this is still using the BenQ uniformity version 1.0. The uniformity in the first generation is not bad by any means. However, you're going to get a lot more color variations or brightness variations as you move throughout the display. Now, something to keep in mind is that this SW271 is not a bad display by any means. It may not be as uniform as a newer version. However, you also have to keep in mind that this display is also a 4K resolution. So anytime you're trying to drive that many pixels, there's going to be some variations between the two. So that's something you want to consider. But if you want the best in uniformity, hands down, the SW270C, bar none. I haven't seen any panel that produce a better uniformity than this one. The other thing that we need to talk about here too is that both of these displays come with a USB Type-C. Now the nice part about USB-C is that that one singular cable on the very fundamental will supply the display signal and also the I.O. That means that you don't need to plug in an extra USB cable provided that you are running on the latest computer with a USB Type-C connector. Now the nice thing about the SW270C is that it also comes with a 60 watt power delivery. What that means is that that single cable will also power your Apple, for example, in this case, all of your MacBook Pro, MacBook, MacBook Air, it will power all of it. In fact, I have used a 15 inch MacBook Pro with this display and it does power that too. And that laptop uses an 85 watt power supply. So just kind of like a good thing to think about there. So if you're using a Mac laptop, the SW270C may be a good choice for you to think about in that case. Now this display will provide a power delivery of 10 watts. With 10 watt power delivery, this display will not power a MacBook Air. And that's one of the questions that I get a lot is that can the SW271, the 4K version with a 10 watt power delivery, power a MacBook Air? The MacBook Air for reference uses a 30 watt power supply and will not power it. So in this case, you would still need a power brick to run with your computer if you get the 271 versus the 270C, one single cable will handle it all. Something to keep in mind too is that if you are running an older computer, if you're using any other type of connector, for example, DisplayPort or HDMI in this case, what you still need to do is run a USB cable between your computing device, whatever that may be, laptop, desktop, to the display in order for you to be able to calibrate it properly and for the palette master element to be able to talk with the built-in internal LUT of the display. Another thing to kind of note about these two displays as well is that there is a difference in the bit of a lookup table. The SW271 uses a 14-bit lookup table. The SW270C has an upgraded 16-bit lookup table. Now I tend to focus on this detail a little bit more because this is just a larger lookup table. We're talking about two-bit difference, but we're talking about millions and billions of colors more that it can do a lookup on. So this is obviously going to produce a little bit more accurate color as well. Now, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, will you see the difference between these two? Between the two bits difference? Probably not so much, but it's just something to note if you're looking between the two. So I hope that this helps explain the differences between these two 27-inch BenQ SW series of hardware calibrated display. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit on the notification bell so that you will be updated every time I release a cool video like this. And as always, art is right.
Yes, I'm talking to that camera. Yes, I'm talking to you. All right. Why you may want to consider one versus the other, and I don't know what else we're going to talk about. <laughs> and I'm all right. Yes. Very different in terms of the capabilities and the features that have come into them that they have. Come into them. It's like, they're a process. <sighs> okay. Right, this is going to be a fun session. In this video, I'm going to be comparing these two models. Do I do art? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Between these two BenQ SW hardware calibrated display. Yeah, that's good. I forgot what else I'm going to say. Um, please. Okay. Picking between one and the other a little bit easier.